All right, hello everyone, and welcome to episode nine of Zero to Hero. And uh, well, it's a relegation six pointer now that we're back after obviously figuring out how to get the game working again um, after the new uh, Pro Evo patch. But I'll try not to go into too much detail about it. But regardless, you know, both teams, you could tell, wanted to grab that first goal. Suzuki, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, wasn't able to break the deadlock. But believe it or not, <laughs> he did a couple of uh, minutes later. It was a sloppy goal, but, you know, in relegation six-pointers, you don't really care how they go in as long as they do go in. And, uh, yeah, two minutes later, they scored in our end, in true typical V Varun Nagasaki fashion, and all I could really do was kind of just sit on the bench and uh, see it unfold. But anyways, we did eventually get subbed on as a right midfielder, um, shot there just wide from us as we look to make an instant impact, and um, it was a real good pass to us to be fair, but on my weaker left foot, it was always going to be a difficult one to finish, very fortunate not to concede there um you know and i mean i say it's a relegation six pointer because both us and this other team are at the bottom of the league there's another left footed shot from me really should be doing better um but a draw wouldn't have been really the end of the world and that was a full-time score in the end and for some strange reason i got a rating of four next up is Vissel kobe anyone who's kind of familiar with the Japanese league, we'll know that these guys have Podolski, Iniesta and David Villa. And it probably won't surprise you to not only see that Podolski found the back of the net, but also that they are top of the league, as you'd probably expect them to. Um, it looked like we almost got the equaliser. Funnily enough, it took them to try and put it in the back of the net for us, but it went just wide. And even though we were playing okay, you know, eventually we got carved up. They've got a lot of quality in the wide areas, and we've got a manager who, quite frankly, doesn't want to make alterations to prevent um, the, those types of weak spots for us. Now, we got substituted on um, as a defensive midfielder, and we saw in the last game that I got a rating of 4.0. Um, I think in that case, we got a rating of 4.0 because I was trying to kind of go against what I really should have been doing um, from time to time because I knew it would, would essentially be a really important three points if we could grab it. And this was kind of similar. So, obviously, whilst we can play as a defensive midfielder, um, for me, when you sub me on in a game when we're losing 2-0, like, yes, I'm a defensive midfielder, but what exactly is the point in me just staying put in the centre circle and not, especially with 50 minutes or so to go, not at least try and get forward from time to time and contribute? But obviously, because of, of how the game works, I then basically take a hit rating wise as a result of that which is quite frustrating uh, but anyways next up we came up against the team who have KFC as a sponsor on the back of their shirts and um, they also have Andrew Naboot up front who obviously plays for the Australian national team and unfortunately for us well I, I mean I keep saying unfortunately for us but really we're used to it by now <laughs> we went one nil down um, I got substituted on again Playing as a defensive midfielder, um, I have been training myself as a shadow striker to try and convince the manager to play me a little bit further up the park. Um, we got the equaliser in the end, um, but obviously there was still quite a long chunk of the game still to go. Um, I picked the ball up on the edge of the box once again in another type of, type, of, type, of, type of situation where I end up kind of snatching at it with my left foot which isn't ideal and then we took the lead um, and against a decent side like the Urawa Red Diamonds um, you know three points would really really be massive for us considering we are still kind of battling it out at the bottom uh, of the league table uh, but unfortunately again in true Nagasaki, uh, Viva and Nagasaki fashion we somehow let it slip. Um, I'm not quite sure who was meant to be marking this lad out on the right-hand side. And we had to basically settle for a point. And there's another instance where I get a rating of four. Why? Because I get subbed on as a defensive midfielder. And I'm doing more than just sitting in the centre circle. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm training myself as a shadow striker. And I've put it down 
um, in my kind of player position preferences that I'd rather not play as a defensive midfielder. So I'm hoping the manager gets kind of the message soon. Um, we went 1-0 down to a phenomenal free kick. If you remember these guys, the Yoko Homos Marinos, I think they're called. They're the guys with um, that really pacey Brazilian Ed in something junior up front. Um, uh, nice celebration there from Sawada. And it was a lovely volley as well. You know, very, very difficult for the goalkeeper to really do much about that. But once again, as always, scoring for us doesn't mean much because we go ahead and concede straight after. And again, another situation where all I can do is sit from the bench and basically watch us edge closer and closer to relegation. Now, obviously, there's no such thing as the Japanese second division on Pez. Um, so we won't actually get relegated. The way it works usually is if you finish in the bottom two, you get relegated. If you finish in, I think it's um, third from bottom. Here he is, Edgar Jr. Um, found the back of the net. It was only me trying to pick him up there, as you guys can see. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, he's far too fast for me. But at least we tried. Um, but yeah, so whoever finishes third from bottom goes into a uh, relegation playoff game with... Um, whoever obviously finishes, I think it's third in the second division. I think in real life that's actually where the Viva and Nagasaki finished and uh, they did end up getting relegated in the end. So, you know, when you lose to a team in that kind of playoff who are a league below you, then you probably deserve to be in that lower league. But anyways, it was 3-2 to YFM. Again, I think this is another one of these games where I get given a poor rating of 4 or 5 because we're 3-2 down. We're fighting at the bottom of the table. You know, you sub me on. I'm more of a creative player, even though I can play as a defensive midfielder, whereas I can play as a defensive midfielder because I'm more of a playmaker. And we've seen that with the types of assists I've been getting. Um... Yeah, you, you can't just, there we go, 4.0, you can't just expect me to sit in the centre circle all, all, all game. Um, so, you know, that really is something that's kind of been on my mind. And if we do end up finishing in a relegation position, um, there is a chance I may put in a transfer request um, and see if we can join. Uh, we'll stay in the, same, in the same division. I don't mind playing in Japan, mainly because um, my overall kind of matches the overall of the players. This was a phenomenal goal, by the way. Um, the assist over the top was brilliant, uh, even though you obviously expect our centre-back to do better. Uh, I did eventually come on uh, in the second half, fortunately this time as a right midfielder. There was a lot of space out on the right wing, uh, and really all I could keep doing was try and play one-twos you know, with Sawada in front of me, but he was really frustrating at times. Um, and then try and whip the ball into the box. And uh, to be fair to the opposition, they, were, they, they weren't making it easy. They were making it very, very difficult. That was probably a situation where we should have scored from. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, one thing I want to apologise for is if you've noticed the cursor. Um, obviously, when I'm playing, I don't see this weird upside down cursor. It's not basically in all the highlights. This was a fantastic pass from me great vision it goes to show you know what i'm capable of and unfortunately the ball came right back off the post so really on another day that really could have and should have been another assist for me and it continues to show the impact that i can make off the bench but for some strange reason even though we've got over 70 percent manager trust and we always come off the bench and make an impact where there we really should have scored and um, we're still not starting any games uh, 6.5 rating for this one obviously our average overall has been terrible throughout this episode but i've told you why second from bottom on 16 points 51 overall i'll see you guys next time